Hi, my name is Tala Ojolakwe. Today we are at the design offices where I will show you how to design a library with SketchUp. SketchUp is an intuitive 3D modelling programme that we have used to design a fictional library in Clerkenwell. Today, I'm going to show you how we have used SketchUp to demonstrate narrative and experience in our interior design for the library. Tala Ojalakwe Studio is an interior design practice based here in London. We strive to create warm and soulful spaces, taking into consideration beautiful materiality and craftsmanship. The story of this project begins in Clerkenwell. Having a sense of place was incredibly important for this project and we chose Clerkenwell because it's a place that I'm very familiar with, it's where I started my career, it's where my practice is based and it also has a rich heritage kind of, of makers and foundries, the buildings, the architecture. Um, the markets really aid and serve as beautiful inspiration for the finishes and of the look and feel that we were looking to create. I'm going to take you through the space with a quick sketch. The arrival area slash ground floor is the read and stay area. The first floor is the make and learn area. And the second floor is the area that we have coined the pause and play area. And we've also designed a spiral staircase that takes you through all the floors. I'm going to show you our 3D model. The space starts from the ground floor where we have created the read and stay area. We wanted to create something that was very welcoming and that would encourage people to kind of live in the space um, upon arrival. We did not want the traditional shelving system where people would see the spine of the books. We've actually placed the books facing you. The first floor is the make and learn area where people are encouraged to sit for much longer. We want people to come to the space, um, to stay, to make something to learn about a new craft and essentially it could also be a co-working space or an events area. We have used a sheer curtain to partition the space because we imagine that it will be a multifunctional space where events may be happening or people may want some privacy. The spiral staircase takes you to the upper floor which is the pause and play area and the intent that it's the slowest um, part of the experience where you are encouraged to lie, to read, to wait and to play. So we wanted to challenge how we use SketchUp to create curved forms in the space. We knew that we wanted some sort of a, a curved staircase and balustrade that would encourage people to go to the upper levels as well as contrast a lot of the straight forms that we were using throughout the rest of the space. Here you can see an overview of how we did it in the software. The mirror tool lets you populate a space with elements that have the same design language. For example, here you can see how we've replicated the bookshelves from one side of the space to the other. So we have the shelving system created already and it has been placed on the right hand side of the model. I will then make a copy of it and use the mirror tool here and it has now mirrored it, so I will use the Move tool to move it to its new location. SketchUp has tools that enables me to visualize and explain projects clearly to clients. For instance, the High tool is great when you want to hide things and to open up the space to show it clearly. 
So you can see what I'm doing here is hiding the sheer curtains so you can understand and see the space better. The tag tool enables one to group objects um, under various tags and turn them on and off to see different perspectives in the space. And here you can see we've turned off the books, the furniture and the people so that we can see the space more clearly. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you'll join us for the next one on materiality and finishes.